Yo, what's up guys, Man in Black here, and today I'm bringing you something different. This is actually not something that I usually would upload on my channel, but uh, this time I, this time I am uploading. So this is actually 6v6, 6v6 domination, you know, the breakdown, and uh, this is not going to be a high scoring gameplay. This is going to be a tough game, something you guys have pretty much never seen on my channel before. So on this game... I'm going to be capping flags and, you know, playing the objective because a lot of people always say that I am i don't play the objective on my gameplays, but uh, I actually do. I actually play the objective quite a lot. I, well, I always play the objective, but uh, normally I don't ha well, not normally, but uh, you, when, when I post like a gameplay like 150 and 5, 125 and 7, I don't have to play the objective. Actually, on those games, I'm trying to make the game longer by not capping any flags and telling like people on the lobby to not triple cap so that the game would be longer and uh, I could get more kills you know kill whoring but uh this gameplay is something different uh we were actually we had, this is actually me and my friend uh Master Z Bates were playing and uh we got into this well we were playing round uh regular domination because I want to get a new win streak you know my uh oldest win streak is something like 106 or something like that and I actually got that playing on 106 uh on regular and a lot of people, you, a lot of you might say that, hey, Man in Black, go to play Sabotage or something. But um, to be honest, I don't really like Sabotage. In my opinion, Sab oh, look at that, we almost had the flag. But uh, like Sabotage is so boring, in my opinion. It, it's just, well, it's rather like a really quick game or like a really, really slow game. But this, this is fun. This is so much fun. This is the way I enjoy getting like a win streak. And uh, the reason why I want to get a win streak, like a higher win streak, is just because... I don't know, it's cool to have a, I don't know, like a really good win streak, and uh, it's also cool to have a higher win-loss ratio, so, oh, by the way, uh, my connection in this lobby is gonna be pretty, well, is is pretty good, so it's pretty much like I had host connections, and I actually can pull host on uh, 6v6 down, but uh, I don't have host this game, so in the beginning, we're just trying to get to the B flag all game, all, all the time, and we're really doing bad we're almost losing now well now we're losing and uh we're just trying to i don't know <laughs> look at that i don't know how the hell did he kill me i was just shooting at the other guy but uh yeah so we were like really really trying to get the b flag but it wasn't really working for us and uh the last thing we wanted to do is to lose and look at that guy that guy is sitting in that build, fucking corner so many times on this during this gameplay so as you can see i'm using the jammer and why i'm using the jammer is because in my opinion, the jammer is one of the best equipments in the whole game. <laughs> Look at that, my friend got <laughs> squeezed by that door. But, uh, like, the jammer is, you know, if any of you guys who watch XCal, you know that he uses a uh, jammer a lot. And I, I understand him. Jammer is fucking great. C4, what I normally use, is basically, it's pretty much made for rushing and killing campers in, like, buildings and windows. But, uh, jammer, jammer works really good for, uh, rushing as well. I was actually thinking about using the jammer more when I'm rushing with the spaz slow. You know, because my problem with the spaz slow is that I always have to use flag second. Why is that? Because there's so many claymores in this game, and claymores are pretty, pretty, pretty fucking good in this game. They kill you pretty much instantly if you don't have flag second. But, uh, especially if you're even lagging like a, only in, in like a tree bar, you, you just can't get past to a claymore, it's just impossible in this game. But, uh, yeah, so, actually I was using, uh, as you can see, I'm actually using a TAC, TAC Mask, not TAC Mask Pro, Pro, but I was actually trying to get TAC Mask Pro. And, uh, I think I can actually get, oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I got, I get it. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm using RC Car, uh, Napalm, and, um, uh, Blackbird, I guess, that, I think that's my kill streak setup. The reason why I'm using the RC Car is because... Well, I, I don't really, I don't know why I'm really using it. I think I'm just goofing around, but uh, it actually worked pretty well in this game. I don't know if I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm actually using it, using it for a reason. I just think I'm trying to be an asshole or something like that. That's pretty much my reason. <laughs> but uh, so now we're just trying to protect B. This is actually this is right. This is the way I play every time I get into like against good players who are actually getting about the objective. I don't know why this this guy just didn't kill us. Yeah, like the best shot, but we had no idea he was coming, and just he just tried to noob to us we, when we all had flag check it on. Yeah, we're not nice. But uh, yeah, so the RC car actually saves the whole game, in my opinion. 
Pretty much. It pretty much saves the whole game in the end. And uh, I don't want to say that uh, you, every, every single body, everybody in here should use the RC car. By the way, look at that guy. He's always planning his uh, tactical insertions in that corner because he wants to get close to the B flag. And I actually blew up his uh, uh, attack insertions. I think I actually blew up it, blew, it, blew, it, blew it up a few times, more than once, I guess. So, and uh, I know I, I think I have, in the end, I have also like, I don't know, six, dif uh, maybe six captures. And something like seven defense, and I know that's still not that much, but I actually have one game where I had, uh, I think I had ten defense and eleven captures. You know, eleven captures. That's quite a lot, because usually the way I play on domination, well, ground war domination. I mean, it's kind of stupid that uh, people complain if I like kill her on ground war domination, because if I wouldn't want to kill her, then why would I be playing? Because, I mean, <sighs> this is really hard to explain. I don't know if I can, but uh, I mean, think about it. If I would, when I only play the objective, why wouldn't I not be playing six v six down? Why would I want to play ground war? The reason why I want to play ground war is because there's more more people, which means more killing. So that's why I want to play ground war, and that's why I usually don't like cap flags. Usually, my role is to run around and kill people and get the kill streaks up in the air. So the, my team can get their kill streaks, and we can just well. Usually, it just works so fine. I mean, if you look at my 150 and five, for example, uh, in the in the beginning, I just run their spawn and destroy their spawn. I just kill pretty much all the all the people from the spawn, and I didn't, I didn't see any of them even getting to B. There was actually two guys trying to kill our teammates at B, but they couldn't do it. Why? Because I killed them. And uh, oh yeah. Talk about this jammer. Why do I love it so much? Uh, jammer is so good because, well, one, it's well, radar doesn't work in the area, and that's really good. If it, well, I think they actually get a blackbird. I think once or twice. Well, maybe once in this this, this game. I'm not sure. And uh, we were just hiding in my inside of the ra uh, radius of my jammer. And that really worked well for our team. And uh, also. Uh, Jammer is so good as well because uh, you look at these guys, they started to get a little bit frustrated, they started using second chance. But uh, usually, Jammer is also really good because it destroys claymores and all the other equipment. So, for example, I would sometimes really wish that I was using a, ha a Hacker Pro because I really look at that RC car saves our B flag. But uh, I would really, like, oh, wow, I've been getting distracted so many times in this <laughs> commentary. But uh, sometimes, uh, I don't know, it just. <sighs> Most of the centers get really frustrated, it's frustrating sometimes, and uh, like. Kill streaks, well, well, not, well, not kill streaks, but uh, I, I think I actually. I'm not sure, but uh, maybe Jammer uh, kind of like makes the. Uh, RC car not work as well, I'm not sure. But uh, this thing, this Jammer is really good. I think I'm trying to make like a class that it's called like some I don't know try hard or something like that, and uh, it, it will probably be something like an AK-47 or or an AUG with the extended mags, and then like uh, flash bangs, tech mass pro, flag trigger pro, uh, jammer. That that's that's a really good class. That's what I was pretty much using in this game. I was using an AUG with a dual mag. I, I think I first used the AK-47 with extended mags, but I switched to this class. Look at the hip fire with the AUG. It's fucking crazy. So, it's kind of funny that these guys were on a full party, and we were just two of my friends, and we were like really, we, we were really happy after this game, and we had so much fun last night, I think we played like three hours, well, I don't know, maybe four, I'm not sure, we played so much, just, it's fu it was fucking ridiculous, we were just being ridiculous amount of, well, nerds, we were just playing so much uh, Rec Dom yesterday, it, it, we had so much fun. And uh, we were pretty much doing what Xcal does. We were using like a uh, uh, Olympia pff, scorpions. Scorpions are really good because uh, my friend had host, and uh, my connection was just fucking crazy. As, can, as you guys can see, these guys just drop instantly. And we were not trying to go go for good scores, and we did pretty bad on a few games. We I don't I think I went negative actually in one game, but I didn't really care. I was just trying to cap flags and uh, have fun because what we were trying to do. There's actually two ways to keep up your score per minute. Oh, by the way, that's pretty much what I, I'm like always trying to. Well, not always, but uh, I don't want my score per minute to be horrible. I want it to be something like I'm rank hundred or something like that. I don't wanna. Well, sometimes I drop into two hundred because it, well, 
what I basically do is that in the like on Monday and Tuesday, well on Monday I try to get as top of the leaderboards as I can, but then the rest of the week I'm just goofing around doing what I also always well you know do I just goof around, and uh, so I don't really care what my score minute is in the like the end of the week I don't really care that much, but uh, like well, pretty much only on like the early of the week so yeah. This has been a really bad commentary. I've been talking like random bullshit so much, but uh, yeah, I just wanna for all you guys that are wondering, I'm starting to upload the videos again because uh, yo, look at that, I got flash kills with my attack my pro, but uh, yeah, look at that. We're this is actually the funny ending. Look at that. We were like, we needed, we definitely needed to cap the B flag, and they were just, they just kept coming those enemies. We had no idea that if we're gonna win or, or lose. And then I immediately called in that RC car and killed that ghost bitch and we somehow managed to get B, B and uh, that's the end of the game, pretty much. They had not, nothing to do anymore, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so let's look at the scores. I think I went 30, 34 and 24 and the score is pretty horrible, I died a lot, but uh, they had 6 captures and 4 defense and we won the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And